Some media outlets fawn over drag queen display at Olympics, unprecedented display of inclusivity. A few media outlets appeared to praise the drag queen's performance and depiction of The Last Supper at the Paris Olympics, which was widely criticized by conservatives. Please subscribe to RZ News for more updates. In an unprecedented display of inclusivity, drag queens took center stage at the Paris Olympics opening ceremony, showcasing the vibrant and influential role of the French LGBTQ community while also attracting criticism over a tableau reminiscent of The Last Supper, the Associated Press reported. The group of drag queens appeared to portray the Last Supper scene famously painted by the Leonardo da Vinci, which depicts Jesus and his apostles sharing a final meal before his crucifixion. The Associated Press piece was syndicated by both ABC News and The Washington Post. The performance was also hailed by NBC News Chicago as a dazzling display of inclusivity at the Paris Olympic Games. Inclusivity took center stage at the Paris Olympics opening ceremony as the lights beamed, flags of Olympic teams were carried over the Seine River and drag queens captivated the world, the local affiliate reported. NBC News described it as an unabashed performance while reporting on the criticism of the depiction of The Last Supper. Last night's mockery of The Last Supper was shocking and insulting to Christian people around the world who watched the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games, House Speaker Mike Johnson, Republican Louisiana said in a post on X, the war on our faith and traditional values knows no bounds today. But we know that truth and virtue will always prevail. Jillian Michaels was among those criticizing the performance. Dear fellow gays. We demand the tolerance and respect but then make a mockery of something sacred for over 2 billion Christians, Michaels wrote in a post on X. This type of hypocrisy and lack of understanding is a bad look. We get outraged when the extreme right bashes us, but then we do this s. What kind of reaction do you think they will have towards the LGBTQ plus community after this? This is not how we break down barriers, it's how you build them, she added.